The initially mysterious character of Weather Report was shown from the start as a bit of a side character, but later on received more screen time and a much deeper backstory. His stand shares his name and has some of the most impressive abilities in the entire series. Also, as of the 4th of April 2021, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 Stone Ocean has been officially confirmed to be getting an anime adaptation. I can't tell you just how excited I am to hear this news, and I'm sure many of you echo the same sentiment. So, in a way, I suppose this monumental video will be a bit of a mixture of you guys wanting me to do this video, plus a little bit of a celebration for the anime adaptation being confirmed. Let me know in the comments just how excited you are for the Stone Ocean anime adaptation, but for now, let's get right into the intro to this video. Welcome back to my stand analysis series, where I delve deep into as much detail about the ins and outs of a stand as possible. As it stands right now, this video is stand analysis number 20. My aim is to eventually do an analysis on every stand within the anime and manga series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I hope you will continue to follow me on this unique and educational journey. Whenever it rains, most people take shelter or run home to get out of the wet weather. However, it's been scientifically proven that if it rains subscribe buttons, 93.6% of people are much more likely to stand outside and embrace the subscribe button showers. So why not take advantage of these rainy showers and press the nearest subscribe button that you see? Perhaps the button on the Bizarre Star Platinum channel in particular? On the last stand analysis video, the Diver Down analysis, I asked all of you to vote for the next stand for me to focus on. There were mixed results as there usually is on these votes, but overall Weather Report won the vote. This stand has abilities that can be explained both by scientific research, but also Jojo logic. Not every part of this stand analysis video may make sense when comparing it to science and nature, but I will do my best to explain how it works. Just keep in mind there will be some aspects of Weather Report's stand that aren't fully explained by Araki, and will require some of my own interpretation to explain its abilities completely, but I will do my best to use science as a basis to explain every aspect of this stand. If you have your own interpretations of Weather Report's abilities, feel free to pop them down in the comments below. From this point on, there will be heavy spoilers for Weather Report, his abilities, and parts of the Stone Ocean story, so be aware from here on. Now then, let's get on with dissecting and analysing Weather Report as best as we can. This stand analysis will also feature the analysis of Weather Report's suppressed ability, Heavy Weather. When Enrico Pucci was pierced by the stand arrow after his sister Perla took her own life, Pucci gained his stand Whitesnake. However, at the exact same time, due to Wes Blue Marine being the fraternal twin brother of Pucci, Wes received the exact same effects from the damage that Pucci received. This means he also gained a wound in the exact same place as Pucci, which in turn duplicated the effects of the stand arrow, also applying them to Wes. This is due to the fact they are fraternal twins, but also due to a heavy amount of Jojo logic. This situation is very similar to Dio in Part 3, when he received his stand The World from the Stand Arrow, and at the same time, Jonathan Joestar's descendants also gained stand abilities. Wes gained his stand Weather Report in the same moment that Pucci gained Whitesnake. Weather Report manifests as a mass of small clouds that Wes can summon at will, and then its cloudy form can be shaped into the appearance of a muscular artificial humanoid stand. Of course, this is just the form that Wes decided for his stand to take, and its true form is that same mass of clouds that floats around its user. This humanoid form's face appears to wear a metallic looking mask that features red eyes in the coloured manga, and also boasts aggressive looking spikes on its head. This mask-like face appears to have a round piece which resembles a belt buckle jutting out from the centre of its face, with two lines of cloud protruding out and wrapping around the top of its head, as well as one of the same coming out from the bottom of the circle. Weather Report has very little noticeable textures resembling body armour or clothing on its body, however when its feet are shown, they manifest in the shape of shoes. The stand appears to have clouds on those feet that resemble the wing-like shoes worn by the Greek god Hermes. These same clouds can also sometimes be seen featured on the shoulders and elbows of the stand, which to me resemble shoulder and elbow pads. The stand also appears to feature visible knee joints which makes it look like it also has knee protection. 
On top of that, Weather Report features round knuckle braces on its hands, which a lot of close-range power type stands also seem to have. Because even though Weather Report has many long-range weather-related abilities, it's also extremely competent in close-range physical attacks, as it has an A rating in power on its stats page. And although I never usually reference the statistics page on these stand analysis videos, I do sometimes use them as references in my notes to gain a better understanding of its physical capabilities in other regions that its abilities may not focus on. The stand is often shown to be surrounded by smaller clouds that hover in the air ready to be used when needed. I said before that its eyes are coloured red in the official coloured manga, but on top of that, the stand itself is always shown as being completely white like a cloud. Which makes sense. The namesake of Wes Blue Marine's stand Weather Report comes from the American jazz fusion band of the same name, Weather Report. On top of that, Blue Marine's stand's suppressed ability, Heavy Weather, is named after an album by this very same jazz fusion band. Weather Report does not showcase any independent personality of its own at any point during Stone Ocean, being shown as completely loyal to Wes Blue Marine in all aspects since its manifestation. However, like most stands, it does showcase one form of independence, that being the fact it wants to protect its user from death as much as it can. When Wes attempts to commit suicide by shooting himself in the head, Weather Report springs into action and clogs up the gun's bullet chambers, stopping the gun from firing. Other situations arise where Wes attempts to jump off a cliff, but strong winds push him into the cliff instead, saving his life. And the same happened when he tried to drown himself, leading to strong waves pushing him back ashore. His stand has a degree of duty and care towards its user, like many stands do, but these situations aren't always actively shown on screen other than in combat situations. Stands are the manifestations of the user's will and mental energy, yet they can feature completely different personalities to their user or have their own set of rules. In most stands cases, if the user dies, the stand will also die, and the stands know these rules. With that in mind, Weather Report knows full well if it lets its user die, it too will perish. Another example of this happening outside of battle is when Jotaro is in the jail cell at the beginning of Part 3, Stardust Crusaders. Jotaro attempts to shoot himself to demonstrate the stand's existence, and with Star Platinum's speed, it grabs the bullet from mid-air, putting a halt to Jotaro's potential suicide. It knows if Jotaro dies, it too will disappear. So, although Weather Report features no particular personality, this stand can be used as a prime example of most stands needing to keep their user alive to also keep themselves in this world. If a user dies, the stand would just vanish along with the user's life. It's a little sad when you think about it, as most stands are meant to do the bidding of their user and are mainly used as weapons in combat, but really, they just want to keep living and helping their user. Treat your stand right. A stand is forever not just for Christmas. Now we move on to the most exciting, yet complicated, explanation for this stand, and that is its techniques or abilities, whatever you want to call them. Again, I echo my sentiment from earlier that I will do my best to explain these stand techniques and abilities with scientific research as its basis as best as I can, but please keep in mind that some of this explanation will have personal opinions thrown in there based on what the most likely and logical explanations would be in that instance. This is due to Jojo logic being a major factor in parts of these abilities. If you have any personal opinions on how these abilities work, perhaps ones that go against what I express in this video, feel free to write them in a comment underneath the video to let me know, as I would love to read your thoughts and theories. However, I will do my best to explain Weather Report's abilities as accurately as I can using scientific research. Let's kick this right off with its most commonly used ability throughout Stone Ocean, and that ability is Weather Control. This ability focuses heavily on manipulating many aspects of the weather, which all stems from the fact that Weather Report can completely manipulate the atmosphere itself. This could be a long video compared to other stand analysis videos, so please be prepared for some science lessons on top of the usual stand explanations. First off, to understand this ability, we'll have to break down the bare basics of what the atmosphere is. So let's start with the simplest question first, and that is, what is the atmosphere? The atmosphere is, in simple terms, a thin layer of gases that acts as a sort of shield around the Earth. It protects us from the intense vacuum of space and also from the ultraviolet rays that the sun radiates towards the planet. 
This atmospheric shield also protects us from meteoroids and other objects that fly through space. This layer of gases is held in place by the Earth's gravity, and it also holds the oxygen inside that we all need to survive. There are multiple layers to the atmosphere, all at varying heights. Each of these layers house varying temperatures and levels of air resistance, plus the wind in some of these layers can be stronger than others. There's also the ozone layer, which is much higher up in the atmosphere, and this is the filter which protects us against the sun's ultraviolet radiation. The atmosphere very generously balances the temperatures across the planet in different regions. This means that whilst deserts may be hot, the temperatures will never go high enough to instantly burn someone alive. And in the same way, cold climates will never go low enough to instantly freeze someone. Another aspect needed to research to continue explaining weather report is wind. What is wind? The atmosphere contains various molecules and gases around the planet. The majority of the atmosphere is mainly made up of nitrogen, as well as having plenty of oxygen. Since the atmosphere contains these molecules, we know the air around us also consists of molecules of nitrogen and oxygen too. Since the atmosphere higher up contains these molecules, we know that the air around us also consists of molecules of nitrogen and oxygen too. And when those molecules all move around in one direction together, this is called wind. We can't physically see it, but we can feel it. These molecules move together, creating wind by the differences in pressure in the Earth's atmosphere, where air from a high pressure area can move towards areas of low pressure. Heat rises, and so when warm air wants to rise, cool air comes in to replace the warm air that has left. All these actions happening in order causes wind. Hopefully I explained that well enough, but simply put, nitrogen and oxygen in the atmosphere creates wind across the planet at varying levels. One more aspect of this to talk about is clouds and how they are formed. What are clouds and how are they formed? Simply put, they are created when an invisible gas called water vapour turns into liquid water droplets. The tiny particles in the air, such as ash and dust, then collect these minuscule water droplets, carrying them high into the air. This process happens due to the heat in the air, either from the sun or other heat sources. For example, when you set out a piece of wet clothing to dry in the sun or on a radiator, the heat from the heat source causes the water to evaporate and lift into the air, going up higher and higher into the atmosphere. The warmer the temperature of the specific area, or the higher the atmospheric pressure is, the more water vapour that the air can hold. When these water droplets ride into the atmosphere on their dusty steeds, they turn into cloud droplets, which then come together and form the clouds we see in the sky in our regular day-to-day -day lives. These clouds constantly house the water droplets, however, once the clouds become overwhelmed and cannot hold these water droplets any longer, they release the water in the form of rain. All of these aspects all come down to our atmosphere. Every weather condition and storm ultimately derives from the atmosphere surrounding the planet. Without the atmosphere, this planet would be as barren and empty as Mercury. There is a lot more science involved with the atmosphere, climates, gases and the equator, but this is the basic information about the atmosphere that we will need for this stand analysis. With this in mind, you can understand just how much our atmosphere does for us and how it protects us. You can also understand just how crazy the science is, and I only barely scraped the surface here. Now, going back to Weather Report, its power is weather control. However, to activate this power, the stand actually manipulates the atmosphere itself within a certain range. Weather Report can manipulate the atmosphere, allowing it to control air, wind, humidity, and clouds. This means he can ultimately control the gases and molecules that the atmosphere is made out of and produces for the planet. This is why I truly believe Weather Report has one of the strongest abilities in all of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, as it has the potential for widespread destruction. Not only due to its weather control, but also an ability that we will talk about a bit later on. Now that is out of the way, let's return to talking about the details of weather control itself. With the manipulation of the atmosphere, Weather Report can control the weather in many ways, such as summoning various weather phenomenons like wind, rain and lightning. To do this, Wes Blue Marine uses his stand to create microclimates, which are very small areas where the gases and molecules in the air are manipulated to create various weather effects spanning only that microscopic portion of the planet. 
For example, instead of a lightning storm spanning miles across a part of the Earth, Weather Report can modify the climate in a very small section and create mini lightning or rainstorms. This was used when Wes's stand Weather Report was first shown, as clouds formed next to Wes with mini lightning storms going off inside them. This shows an insane amount of precision with this stand, but also conserves power as creating these small microclimates does not require too much effort, compared to what creating a massive storm would. On top of having intense precision in a close area, Weather Report can be sent much further away from Wes, creating specific weather conditions as far as 30 kilometers away from his main body, and this distance could possibly extend even further. My personal thoughts on this are that he would not be able to accurately know exactly where to create weather effects, so he would not be able to be as precise in its weather manipulation as it would be in close proximity to Wes. The ability would probably have to span a much wider area to even have a chance of directly affecting Wes's target. This was shown when he did indeed send Weather Report 30 kilometers away from him and caused a rainstorm on the highway to the north. Whilst this may seem precise at first, he already had prior knowledge of the exact location of the highway that he needed to target, and he was also tracking Ungolo at the time. He knew the direction Ungolo was going in by using the air currents to detect his movements, and theorized that he was in a vehicle on that particular highway, leading to the inevitable precision in his weather creation in that instance. However, I believe in regular situations, if he did not know the lay of the land, he would have no choice but to blindly cover a wide area in the hopes that he managed to affect his target area. He can also create rainstorms or cyclones. During a cyclone, the bad weather effects spin around an eye of the storm, which is a wide area in the center of the cyclone where weather effects are much calmer with perhaps only light winds. Inside this eye of the storm, the atmospheric pressure becomes much lower than outside of the cyclone. Since West Blue Marine can create cyclones in an area he wants, this means that the cyclones he creates will feature an eye of the storm like a real life cyclone depending on the size of the cyclone he creates, will also depend on the size of the eye. This could give temporary respite and protection to Wes and his allies, whilst enemies are caught in the cyclone itself, suffering from the negative weather effects. Using our previously explored knowledge of cloud creation, we know that Wes can also manipulate the clouds. Sometimes, clouds can form in a lower atmospheric layer, and sometimes this layer can be the one that we all reside in on ground level. These clouds on ground level are what we know as fog and mist. Just as Wes can manipulate clouds in their creation, mist and fog can also be generated by his ability. The creation of wind by manipulating the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmospheric layer can also be controlled rather precisely by Wes and his stand. He can create strong gusts of wind to affect objects, flinging them towards enemies, or he can even use it to negatively affect the enemy themselves whilst Wes stays safe at a distance. Though if he so wishes, he can use these strong gusts of wind to propel himself and others in the direction of his choosing, protecting him from incoming attacks. In the same vein, air currents can be used to Wes's advantage, as he can use these to detect movement in a designated area. This can be incredibly useful for recon purposes, because surely no enemy would think to suspect the air currents were against them, unless they already knew Weather Report's abilities like Poochie does. This makes Weather Report a very good stand for tracking enemies, but it would become more difficult to detect an enemy in an area where there's lots of movement, like in heavily populated areas such as malls or towns. Seeing as Weather Report manifests as clouds, and its form can be morphed into whichever form Wes intends, it can of course turn back into clouds during close combat and force its way through flesh and bone with the added power of strong gusts of wind. These physical capabilities can take out an enemy almost instantly if the opponent is not on their toes. Speaking of close combat, Weather Report can also manipulate the molecules in the atmosphere to create small, isolated atmospheric layers in the nearby vicinity. These atmospheric layers have their own air resistance, as well as everything else an atmospheric layer would normally possess. If you watched my Planet Waves stand analysis, I went into detail about how objects entering the Earth's atmosphere from space will burn up and dissipate into nothing due to the heavy air resistance. These localized atmospheric layers that Weather Report creates acts in the same way as the Earth's atmospheric exosphere layer, which is the final level on the furthest point outside of the atmosphere. 
If a projectile or a punch enters the atmospheric layer, the friction generated by the speed of the projectile meeting the air resistance will generate intense heat, setting the projectile or punch completely on fire. The projectiles can also be completely redirected by the air pressure residing inside these isolated atmospheric layers, meaning that this is a very strong defensive ability that can completely protect weather report from nearly any incoming projectiles, including bullets. Yes, we are still talking about his weather control ability at the moment. You may remember earlier I mentioned Wes Blue Marine's stand had an ability which has been suppressed. Well, we're not quite up to that yet. We'll get onto that very soon, but this may prove to be one of my longest stand analysis videos to date, maybe even longest video in general. So, don't forget, if you are enjoying this video, let me know by liking the video down below, which will help push me up in the YouTube algorithm. Your like counts as interaction, and interaction will get this video, and ultimately my YouTube channel, seen by more people. Thanks for watching this video up to this point so far. However, it is now time to continue on with the final few aspects of Weather Report's weather control ability. I mentioned this earlier, but Wes can also use his stand to manipulate the humidity in the air. In the same sense that Weather Report can manipulate the water vapour in the air, therefore creating clouds, Wes can also increase or decrease the humidity levels, creating more or less water vapour in the air. On top of this helping him create and partially control clouds, he can also generate water itself to an extent. This can then be evaporated into water vapour in great numbers and forced inside another human body, which can then be changed back into water. This will completely bloat up that person's body, so much so that the water will pour out of the orifices of the body in great numbers. Generated clouds can also be used to cushion the blow of an impact, such as an attack coming towards Wes, or if Wes has been thrown backwards towards a hard surface such as a wall. The cloud will appear and bounce him and his allies back, protecting them against the majority of the impact. Another example is in the case of a car crash. The occupants of the car can be protected to some extent. When Weather Report creates clouds, he can then form these clouds into the shape of a suit of armour to protect against dangerous conditions such as vacuums. This suit of armour can also protect the user and his allies against poisonous gases. This was particularly helpful in the battle against Lang Wrangler and his stand Jumping Jack Flash. Another form of weather control that Wes can manipulate is he can create lightning. By manipulating the electrostatic energy within the clouds, he can create lightning bolts to be used from the actual clouds in the sky above or the clouds that are created by his stand. Speaking of electricity, not only does electricity exist within storms, but it can also be found within the human body. Every time the brain sends signals to the body to move a muscle, it is the direct result of an electronic signal to the target area from our brains. The entire nervous system in our bodies, and in the bodies of all animals around the world, holds a small and controlled amount of electricity. Mixing the electricity generated by the atmosphere and also by his stand, Wes can shock another person or animal with electrical currents to then send signals around their body. This allows him the power of partial control of their body as these electrical currents interrupt and replace the signals sent from the person's brain to the nervous system, bending them to Wes's will. The uses of this ability continues as Wes can continue to manipulate the humidity and the temperature in a microclimate that he creates to completely evaporate liquids, which we have spoken about previously. However, he can then completely freeze the evaporated liquids to create solid shapes in whichever form he desires. This means he can even create sharp blades made out of blood, which was shown in his fight with Poochie during the heavy weather arc. One of the stranger abilities that Weather Report has is the stand can create unlikely weather conditions such as raining animals down upon the land. This aspect of the ability has some relevance to real life happenings, but also it's just full of Jojo logic when it comes down to this happening in the context of the manga. Sometimes tornadoes would be known to pick up small animals and then rain them down in an area when the tornado disappears. That was the influence for this portion of the ability. However, in the context of the Jojo manga, it seems to be nothing more than an actual weather condition that Weather Report can create. I don't fully believe this, however. Araki went out of his way to explain the reference to this event, being related to tornadoes picking up animals. So, I don't believe Wes randomly generated frogs out of nowhere, as animal creation is not a part of atmospheric manipulation. However, we have seen that there is a swamp nearby to the prison, 
So perhaps those poisonous frogs lived in the swamp surrounding the prison, and Wes used his stand to pick up those frogs in a tornado and release them on top of the prison during the Savage Garden arc. That is my only logical explanation for this aspect of the ability, other than the obvious Jojo logic answer. Considering the air is made up of approximately 21% oxygen and the atmosphere controls this level of oxygen, Weather Report can technically control the level of oxygen in the area as well. The microclimate ability can also be applied to this portion of the ability, meaning Wes can alter the amount of oxygen in a small section of the immediate area, causing either suffocation or oxygen poisoning. A lack of oxygen would obviously mean the target or targets would find it harder to breathe, but if the concentration of atmospheric oxygen goes above 40%, it begins becoming toxic to people. At 100% pure oxygen, it will definitely result in death. This can be used by Wes to near instantly kill an enemy, though he will need to be careful not to accidentally kill other people in the surrounding area. This ability was not directly used by Wes as far as I can remember, but once the Weather Report stand disc was inadvertently implanted into Emporio's head, he temporarily gained the abilities of Weather Report, which is how he was finally able to put a stop to Poochie's plans. Now that that's all out of the way, we can breathe. Well, not necessarily, because that was actually the more easily explained side of Weather Report's abilities. Weather control is mostly science-based, however, there is that suppressed ability that we have mentioned, but haven't yet discussed. And that ability is called Heavy Weather. Once Wes Blue Marine has given back his memory disc from Donatello Versus, he remembers a lot of things about his past. Who he truly is, what happened to him in his life, why he hates everyone including himself and Poochie, plus every aspect of his stand weather report. An ability that was removed from his memory was the Heavy Weather ability. This ability activated unconsciously when Wes first received his stand, and it again activated unconsciously once he regained his memory disc. This ability of Weather Report is a completely automatic ability and stems from Wes Blue Marine's utter rage and contempt towards humanity. He seemingly has no control over this ability, or at least very very little. Whilst Heavy Weather is in effect, Weather Report's weather control abilities can still be used alongside Heavy Weather. On the surface, the first thing we see when Wes regains his memories are multiple rainbows appearing. These rainbows are the indication that the ability has activated. Not only that, but multiple snails begin appearing from various locations. Yep, you heard me correctly, snails. Even weirder, people who touch either the rainbows or the snails begin turning into a snail themselves. If you've not read Part 6 Stone Ocean and you're watching this video regardless, you're probably thinking this sounds absolutely ridiculous. Well, parts of it are, but parts of this ability, yes, including the snails, can actually be linked back to science in some ways, with a degree of Jojo logic mixed in there. Let's dive right on down into the science of heavy weather and why people touching snails is turning them into the creatures themselves. This ability makes use of two simple things, one being science and the other being psychology. Though they are different, they can work together to create the ability known as heavy weather. The first point we'll look at is the scientific side of things and that science is the refraction of light. In this particular case, we'll be looking at the refraction of the sun rays which produces the light we see both in day and in the night. Refraction, in simple terms, is the change in direction of some kind of wave. These waves can be sound waves or light waves, for example. You can see these waves within air, water and glass. Light from the sun hits the earth in the form of white light, even though our sky is blue. Basically, white light includes all of the colours within it, and within our atmosphere are dust particles and oxygen molecules as mentioned earlier. When the white light from the sun hits our atmosphere, all the colours of the rainbow shines through. However, the blue light in particular bounces off the molecules in the atmosphere and is scattered across the area of the planet that the sun is facing, making our sky appear blue. Now, when rainbows appear in real life, that is due to the various colours that reside within the sun's white light passing through raindrops in various layers of the atmosphere. We talked earlier about how water vapour lifts into the air due to heat, clinging onto dust particles and forming clouds, right? 
Well, in the same layer where clouds full of water form, the sun's white light hits the raindrops within the clouds, and those raindrops act as a prism, refracting the light, spreading the colours out of the white light into the multicoloured rainbows that we see sometimes after it has been raining. So, in essence, the formation of rainbows is linked to the atmospheric control that Weather Report possesses, and is all down to light refraction. Imagine light is travelling in a straight line towards glass, for example. When the light hits the glass, it changes direction outwards within the glass, and when it comes out the other side of the glass, it changes direction inwards again, returning to its initial straight trajectory. This is also how the refraction in the atmosphere works, just on a much more grander scale. Heavy weather alters the refraction angles of the sun rays that enter the Earth's atmosphere by using its atmospheric control abilities. This light then enters the raindrops in the clouds, spreading the light into multiple colours, creating rainbows in the surrounding area. Now, here's the kicker. All organisms that are able to perceive light are affected by this light refraction alteration. Think of it like the Earth is trapped within a large, round piece of glass, and using the glass example from earlier, you can get an idea of how this light refraction works. Now, Weather Report's heavy weather ability grants Wes Blue Marine the power to alter the way the atmosphere refracts the incoming sunlight, granting him the ability to change its direction drastically in completely different ways than what we are used to. This drastic change would be unnoticeable to the conscious mind of regular animals on Earth, as our brains know exactly what to expect from the Earth and its atmosphere, so it would only register in the subconscious mind, and we cannot access the information within the subconscious mind. Our conscious minds know that the sky is blue, so a very slight change of colour would go almost unnoticed, yet our brains would register the change subconsciously. The brain recognising things subconsciously means that a part of the brain registers the change, but we are not fully able to access the knowledge in that part of the brain. This means we cannot perceive subliminal messages consciously. However, the body and mind can still be affected, influencing our actions and feelings. Again though, we would not be consciously aware of this influence. Now we're getting to the second major aspect of this ability, which is the psychological point, which is subliminal messaging. Subliminal messaging is the reason that the people within Stone Ocean begin to see snails. In this case, the subliminal messaging is not caused by man-made creations, such as an example that Pucci uses, where movie theatres would stick in incredibly quick, unnoticeable images of food and drink to influence the viewers' brains that they are hungry or thirsty, leading them to spend more money at the theatre. That situation was man-made subliminal messaging, resulting in altering the subconscious mind. Heavy weather is, in fact, a natural subliminal messaging tactic, seemingly caused by nature itself. Even though it's actually caused by standability, this standability alters the natural order of how the atmosphere works. The subliminal messaging caused by the light refraction in this case causes humans and animals in Stone Ocean to begin seeing images of snails appearing. Due to the sunlight refracting in a specific way, their subconscious minds have been convinced that there are snails appearing in front of them and around them, influencing their conscious mind that it is true. They begin to physically see these snails, yet they are really just optical illusions. Because their brains have been convinced that these snails are real, they also see objects being destroyed by these same snails. This is where Jojo logic begins to creep in, because are these objects actually being destroyed by these optical illusions? Or is the destruction also an optical illusion, caused by the natural subliminal messaging? I'd rather go with the latter, but it is quite a stretch. If someone touches either the rainbows or the snails themselves, they begin to seemingly turn into a snail. What this actually is, is the subliminal messaging from the light refraction convincing the brain that touching the rainbows or snails will turn them into a snail themselves. Even if their conscious minds go, no, that's ridiculous, it will still happen due to the subconscious mind being affected. Their conscious mind has been convinced this is real. Their subconscious mind influences their body, feelings and actions to make them feel that this is real. They are transforming into snails due to how heavy and deep the subliminal messaging effect actually is. It's a little crazy but full of scientific fact mixed in with a bit of Jojo logic here and there. Why snails, you may be asking? 
Poochie theorizes on why people are turning into snails specifically. We never actually get a direct, explained answer, so Poochie's theories are our best bet at figuring it out. First, he theorizes that perhaps the image of a snail is being reflected within the sun's refracted rays, and that is why the subliminal messages reaching the subconscious mind of the people is making them all see snails in particular. Another theory he has is that the refracted sun rays are reminding the human mind and body of its prehistoric instincts, transforming them into a form that represents those instincts. However, I'm more inclined to believe the first theory, that the image of a snail is somehow being reflected from the atmospheric light refraction. If Wes Blue Marine has almost complete control over the atmosphere at this point, then surely planting an image of a snail through the refracted light would probably come easy to him especially since this ability is mostly automatic and not fully controlled by him. It also seems the snail transformation process can be accelerated by having the light refracted even more dramatically, as shown when Poochie picks up a piece of broken glass and reflects the already refracted light towards Anasui's eyes in a more harsh and direct blast of light. Once this transformation process begins, the physical attributes of the person appear to change. Even others can see this person's transformation process. A bit more Jojo logic now, but these transforming people also begin to gain attributes of snails, making them stick to things and move a lot slower. They are even able to climb up walls using the sticky substance that forms on their body. They also begin to lose some of their strength, becoming softer like actual snails. These victims of the snail transformation become vulnerable to salt like a real life snail would. Again, this comes down to the subliminal messaging factor of the refracted light. As explained before, the refracted light is sending messages to the subconscious mind to influence the conscious mind and also change the body, even affecting its actual biology, making skin and bone weaker, softer, as well as secreting various liquids that may not normally be secreted in such high volumes, allowing people who are turning into snails to stick to the walls and climb up them. As well as turning into a snail, sometimes the body can seemingly explode into a multitude of snails or snail eggs, which are known to hatch almost immediately, creating even more snails to be wary of. This can quickly turn a situation around, with people becoming surrounded by snails and having no way to escape. From what we have learned so far of subliminal messaging, I can only assume that these snails, or eggs breaking out of people's skin, is nothing but an optical illusion created by the atmospheric sunlight refraction, tricking animals and humans' brains into thinking their skin is literally bursting open. As you can see in the picture of Hermes' arm bursting open, you can't see any bones or any blood dripping from the wound, indicating that this is all purely an effect of the light refraction and subliminal messaging. The subconscious mind of Hermes and the onlookers make them truly believe that her arm is actually bursting open, releasing snail eggs and those messages are then transferred to the body, meaning people will actually see this happening, believing it to be real. Think of this like a mirage. If you're stuck in a desert and you can see a distant oasis or river, but it's not actually there, that is a direct result of light passing through two layers of air, which consists of different temperatures. Due to the desert sand becoming really hot due to the sun, it creates heat which rises into the air just above it, and this hot air morphs the incoming sunlight, reflecting the sky. This shows what looks like blue water, when in actuality it is the light being reflected. Due to the light refraction, humans at this point in Stone Ocean see these optical illusions, or mirages, truly believing what they see. I cannot stress this enough, that these optical illusions are convincing the conscious brain that these illusions are real and those snails are actually there in front of them. It's crazy and filled with Jojo logic and really some science as well, so it is really kind of a hard ability to actually explain, so it has taken me quite a while to get to this video, which I do apologise for. Even other animals, including insects, are partially affected by this light refraction. If they have eyes that work and can visualise what is in front of them, then they can be affected. This means that predators, which feed on snails, become attracted to the area where illusionary snails are appearing, as the predators themselves can also see them. The same can be said about humans who appear to be transforming into snails. The snail predators can see this process taking place, meaning that these people will become potential victims of shell wearer swarms. The insects can see the light refraction effect, meaning that they can see the snails and the transformation process. 
The insects in Stone Ocean are also shown transforming into snails once heavy weather is in effect, regardless of the size of their brains. At first, I thought insects might not be able to comprehend the subliminal messaging created by heavy weather. However, looking back at the chapters again, I saw this wasn't the case as we can clearly see other insects being transformed. After a little bit of research, I'm now going to theorise that the shell wearer insects do not transform into snails due to the fact that they may be based on the real life ground beetle, more particularly the Japanese Ishikawa Tretchus intermedius species. This species of insect belongs to the Carabidae family. The Japanese ground beetle was presumed extinct in the 1970s, but if my research online is correct, they were blind. The ground beetles also are known to eat snails. This is purely just a theory at this point, but the shell wearers in Stone Ocean could be based loosely on these bugs. They may not be fully blind as they can still see the illusionary snails and snail transformations. Either I'm on the complete wrong track, or this is just another example of Jojo logic being utilised. If anyone has any ideas or theories on the shell wearers and why they aren't transforming into snails themselves, let me know in the comments what you think. Even though heavy weather is an unconscious ability, Wes can still control it to some degree. If he is targeting one particular person, he can slightly control the subliminal messaging given to that target. When the KKK leader witnessed illusionary snails burst out of his arm, Wes manipulated the subliminal messaging entering the man's brain using the illusions and convinced him to shoot himself instead. His subconscious mind moved his body in the way Wes wanted, even against the man's actual conscious mind. The snails become so numerous due to the fact that a real life snail can freely change their gender as they grow, and since they are illusions created by heavy weather, this gender change can happen freely in the world of Jojo. This allows for almost instant procreation, spreading the plague of snails further, even faster. These ever-growing swarms of illusionary snails have the potential to endanger entire cities, and, if left alone, could probably terrorise the entire planet if Wes allows it. And since he has a hatred towards most human lives due to what he had been through, I don't doubt that he would, in fact, allow this to happen. This snail transformation process cannot be undone at all. Everyone who is turned into a snail will stay that way and will not die unless killed by someone else, or they die from a lack of food and water. Because remember, they are not actually physically turning into snails in reality, but they and others around them perceive that they are. It's all illusionary. Really, people are just crawling along the floor acting like snails. The only way to reverse this process is if Wes Blue Marine once again loses his memory disc, resulting in him forgetting the use of this ability, or if he dies. It has also been stated by Donatello Versus that Weather Report has the ability to completely destroy the ozone layer which protects the Earth and its inhabitants from ultraviolet sun rays. If the ozone layer is destroyed, Earth would be burned to a crisp and all life would fade away. This makes Weather Report one of the most chaotic and powerful stands in the original Jojo universe, maybe even Jojo altogether. As previously stated, the form of Weather Report can freely swap to and from its artificial humanoid form, allowing for powerful close range attacks. Once in its cloud form, it can also slip through tight spaces and be used for recon. It's been proven by Pucci that heavy weather cannot affect humans or animals which have no vision. Someone with damaged or severed optic nerves are unable to process light that enters through the eyes. Light reflecting off of surfaces is what allows for us to see anything at all on this planet. So if the light cannot be seen due to the optic nerves being damaged, then those signals cannot be sent from the eyes to the brain. This is blindness. If someone is blind, they obviously cannot see light, therefore cannot be affected by heavy weather's light refraction. This means they will not see the rainbows or the snails, becoming completely unaffected by the subliminal messaging effects. This was shown when Pucci used White Snake to remove his own vision, allowing for him to become completely immune to the heavy weather portion of Weather Report's abilities. Most of Weather Report's strengths have already been made apparent through the extremely long abilities section of this video, so this section here will end as there isn't a whole lot left to say about its strengths and weaknesses. 
My final thoughts on Weather Report are, as I said before, it has to be a stand with one of the strongest and most chaotic abilities in all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. With the power to completely destroy the ozone layer and change the level of oxygen in a small area, on top of everything else we've previously spoken about, it is an immense power to have. The only way Wes Blue Marine was able to be taken down is due to Poochie removing his own eyesight so as not to become affected by the heavy weather ability. If Wes was against nearly anyone else, I think he would have won and continued his snail rampage. In a way, Poochie actually saved the planet in this moment by killing Wes, though of course he would then continue to endanger it himself by attempting to achieve heaven. Honestly, I liked Weather Report, both the character before and after regaining his memories, as well as the heavy weather ability. Though it did confuse me on my initial read, all this research for the stand analysis video has helped me a lot with learning the scientific factors involved in this stand ability. I would have liked to have seen more from Wes before regaining his memories. However, due to his weather control ability being so strong, I think to balance out powers in various battles, it was best to only appear in battles where his ability could be rivaled in some way. If he just walked into a battle and the enemy had no way of counteracting Weather Report's abilities at all, then it would be a quick and boring fight to read. Having him come in to help Jolene fight Lang Wrangler was perfect for him, as it was a fight where he would not have an automatic win and was able to help balance out the power a little bit more. Prior to researching for the stand analysis, I actually thought Heavy Weather was a bit of a BS ability. And yes, there is the factor of Jojo logic still present within this ability's reasons for being and its usage. However, the science is there, and like a lot of stand abilities Araki creates, the ability was created using science as its basis, but perhaps stretched it to its limits with the snail thing. Now, after researching it, I can safely say I really like how in-depth Araki went with the scientific research to create this stand and its abilities. Recently, I've been asking you guys to vote for a stand for me to analyse next. However, I think after such a huge project with Weather Report, I'm going to have a look at the list of stands and decide which one to do next myself. As always though, please feel free to post your requests in the comments section so I can get your thoughts on future stand analysis videos. That finally does it for Weather Report. If you've watched this far, then thank you so much for putting in this commitment to this video. It's been my longest video so far on the channel, and although I had to deviate from the stand analysis itself to explain the atmosphere, weather effects, and how they're created, and so forth, it was definitely necessary to get the full explanation of just how this stand works. If you have anything more to add to this explanation, whether I forgot to add something in, or you feel I got something wrong, write me a comment to give me a heads up. Remember, with having Jojo Logic thrown into the mix with this ability, some aspects of Weather Report, plus many of Araki's other stands, rely on the viewer's own theories and deductions. Araki rarely fully explains every aspect of a stand ability, so the fans need to fill in the gaps themselves with their own ideas of how it works. This leaves people having various different ideas and opinions on how stands work, so I'm curious to see what your ideas are and how you think Weather Report works. <sighs> Now then, what did you think of Weather Report? Were you able to fully understand the heavy weather ability on your first read, or did it confuse you? Let me know down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel for future JoJo content. Also, please hit the like button on this video if you want to see more stand analysis videos. To get notified when I release the next one, or aura that bell and you'll be notified when I release another one. I appreciate you taking the time watching this very, very long video, but until next time, Bizarre Star Platinum, out.